Okay, now that we're all installed for Orion, the first thing we're going to do is make sure that our classic UO client is patched up and ready. So open up your file system. You're going to go in your local disk, the C disk, go in Program Files x86, scroll down until you see Electronic Arts, open that, Ultima Online Classic, and then we're going to go all the way down to the bottom. We're looking for UO Patch or UO Patch.exe. Start run that. It's going to bring up the administrator prompt. Click OK. And just make sure your UO is all fully patched up. Then we can close this. Go back to the Orion launcher. And we're going to double check updates. Make sure that everything is all good to go. And then we're going to click configure client version up on the top right corner. That's going to bring up this dialog box. You're looking for the green font right up top from client.exe file. Double click this. That's going to open your UO file. Find the one that says client or client.exe, double click that. It'll say, do you play OSI? You want to say yes, and then click create. If everything goes right, you'll see this dialog box right here. So click OK, and then we can click the X on this, and we're going to make a new profile for our account. So every profile or every account you have is going to need its own profile. So come down here and click add profile. Go to OSI, about halfway up the list. Click this, and then we're going to name the account. Uh, you can name it whatever you want, but you want to name it something relevant to what the account is so you can identify it from the list. And then here you want to put your account name, and here you want to put your account password. And make sure you don't touch any of the other fields here. Just leave them alone and click OK. The last step is just to launch the game itself. So now that you have that account selected from the list, come over here to the launch button and click it. It'll bring open your client window and along with the assistant window. You, as long as you put your account name and your password in, you should not have to enter them in here. You can just click login and you're good to go.